Hello, crafty friends. Okay, today we're doing Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I've been outside pulling weeds. And I made a deal with Drake that if he'd give me 15 minutes, we'd go back out. So, here we go. Let's see. So, like I told y'all, I'm using... Um, my Copics and watercolor and um, Spectrum Noirs, I think. <clears throat> and so, like we did yesterday, I'm gonna paint what's white first, which is his shirt. And then I'm gonna paint it white and then I'm gonna put red stripes on. Not the collar, but the shirt. So, and I've been working on my book, to my, I guess it's a, a flip book. I don't know what it is. Or giant tags. I'm not sure. Anyway, been working on that a little bit. Playing with the kids. Doing their schoolwork. And then, finally, I think it's not going to freeze tonight. So, Drake planted his, his plants. He's going to grow watermelons and marigolds and Indian paintbrush flowers. So, Lil didn't get hers done yet. But maybe that will happen a little later today, too. Because they, now they need to get in the dirt. In their, in their homes. So, I know some of y'all have commented and said that while I do this, y'all color, and so I'm sure y'all know how it is to just get lost in what you're doing and forget that you're supposed to be having a conversation. <laughs> and I haven't heard from Bestie all day today. I don't know. There's no telling what she's doing. She might be in cleaning, clean, top cleaning mode or or actually, I think she is the supervisor. And uh, she's trying to let them do what they can while they want to do it. So that's good. Get a lot of things taken care of like that. A lot of spring cleaning. I hear on the news people are spring cleaning extraordinarily. Oh, I know something else I need to tell y'all. Okay. Most of y'all know Paula by Crafting, of Crafting by the Pond. Okay. Um, I got an email from her yesterday. And, you know, she's a nurse. And she works for the Veterans Administration. And her daughter is also a nurse. But her daughter has been called to go to uh, Baltimore. And, um, and she's scared to death. You know, Paula is for her daughter. But she knows that when you're a nurse, you're called to help people and her daughter feels like you know that she can and that's what she's called to do so if y'all please keep her in your prayers and Paula too because she's you know she's a nurse so and she she said she didn't even get to she's got to wave to her daughter and blow her a kiss from across the parking lot she didn't even get to hug her goodbye you know and y'all know that's hard on a mama Hard on a mama. So, if y'all would just keep her, them, their whole family, in your prayers. Paula's such a sweet person. I know everybody loves her. She's hoping, she said she was hoping that when all this calms down, she'll have time to do some crafting and make some videos. I know I've missed her. The first thing, the first uh, contest I ever won was Paula's, so. 
We've been buddies for a while. So, so these are these are Copics, and these are Spectrum Noirs, and I got these in um, Crafter's Companion mystery bags, and I really like them. So, in case y'all are interested, but the truth is that you could use any kind of marker to do this with. Or, you know, obviously you could paint. I like the look, the transparent look of the the marker ink, whereas, and the watercolor too, whereas paint would be more solid. And there's nothing wrong with that. I just, since these are wood, I'm just one of those people that thinks if something is, you know, if something is beautiful as it is, or it has something about it that has a beautiful quality, you shouldn't um, get rid of it. So, that's just my motto for whatever it's worth. Might not be worth much, but that's how I do it, so... And, um, now I'm not necessarily looking at these Copics, but the thing that makes Copics so nice is they're, that they blend so well. And that the numbers on the ends, the letters and the numbers are color families and, and color depths. And it's really easy to follow that and um, not have any questions about what color to shade with or you know and typically you're supposed to use a dark medium and a light value and most of the time I'll use white as my as my highlighting as my lightest value especially when I'm doing this because I don't have the whole set of Copic so in most cases I don't have a range of three. I have a range of three that that I can make work, but not necessarily. If you were a tried and true Copic color, you know, you would have a better selection. But that's okay, because I like what I've got. So, let's give him some blue socks, because they're snazzy fellas. Hi, buddy. Uh-uh, don't, uh-uh, don't touch. Don't touch any of that, please. Thank you. Why is there only one eye and one mouth? Because it's crazy like that. It's creepy. It's creepy. It is creepy. You know. It creeps me out. It creeps you out. I'm kind of a fond of creepy. I don't know why. A fond. Is that what I said? A fan. I'm a fond fan. I'm a fond fan of creepy. So, for those of you who might be watching the first for the first time, I am. Um, there's a video where I'm doing working on each one of these wooden characters, and if you comment and like. Every video, at the end, I'll draw a name for a chance to win a, the set of them, if you're interested. And I'm also working on a set for my own. I mean, I've already got mine painted, but I'm putting them together in a in a tag flip sort of a book. And um, I'm using different papers and collection that I got at Frank Garcia and it's it's a Japanese paper and I can't for the life of me remember what it is right now it is memory place that's the paper in the cut aparts and I cut all those apart and I worked on some they're not glued together but I arranged a bunch of rosettes can you see that? Yeah. 
and I'm going to make a dangle like um, Wandy Sweets did. I think those were so cute. And she saw somebody else do it. I don't remember who it was. It wasn't anybody that I that I know about. But um, anyway, they were super, super, super cute. So, I thought, what a fun idea. Okay, so this is the same color that I was using originally on these pants. So see how it's pulling that color and blending it? That's what's awesome about a Copic. And the, the wood doesn't always make it like it would be on paper, obviously, because the grain has a deciding factor in the <clears throat> control of um, where your color's going sometimes. But that's okay. Oh my. Uh, well, I didn't, can't say I really meant to give him pink hair, but rich wood. Hmm. Well, like I told y'all, you don't worry about that because it can be fixed. If I add a little brown to it on the edges, it'll look like a drake. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, well you can pick them up for me, please. It is an absolutely beautiful day outside here. It has finally warmed up and it's good for being outside. Um, that's kind of yellow. Hmm, let's see how this looks. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Thank you, baby. Uh -oh. I'm gonna get some whites in his eyes. Uh oh. Hmm. Okay, see how I hit that black in it. Bled. But that's okay because I did it right there too. <laughs> I can I can work on that with some white. Now this will be my medium value. So it'll be just where there would be shading. It's a little orangey looking. That's okay. Because once I highlight, it'll be alrighty. Alrighty. Now, let me strap this shirt. What you doing, buddy? I'm playing bear attack. Bear attack? Yeah, it's when this chomper attacks bears. Oh. Colored bears. Yeah. Okay. Now then. Let's see here. 
here. He tries to eat all the bears, but there's too many. Oh, he's not that hungry, huh? Yeah, he, he can eat all of them because he only has one last. Mm -hmm. He could fit four bears in his mouth. Yeah? Yeah. They must have a kind of big mouth, huh? I mean, look at it. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, that's a mess. Oh, and that doesn't even have anything in it. Um, I've got a spray bottle over here somewhere with some water in it. But then, oh, my lantern. Break them, make it a mess, man. You know the video's still on. Yeah, I know. Oh, this is water. Mm. Yeah. I know the video's still on. Yeah, Come on. There we go. Just need a little squirt and right there. Right there loses yellow bear. Yeah? Yellow bear was his best. Ring. He was. And the monster first shakes him. And then he chomps him up. That's a technical tool that I use. <laughs> the old finger. Easy man. There's bears flying. But then the monster doesn't like red bears. Oh yeah. And then bear attack. But the monster does not Okay, so wherever you want there to be dimension, like their bellies, you make your highlight a little bolder. Let's see. He kind of reminds me of Fred Flintstone for some reason. Are y'all seeing that? She did. And it, she was great. I didn't know we had a ping pong table. We didn't. Oh. We just threw it. Oh. Mom's tricky like that, huh? If you have one, two, three, four, five, six, take away six, then you just have five. That's your high math lesson for the day. It's a math story. It's a math story. Let's see here. Let's give him some white around his eyes. If my pen will cooperate. Four bears. They look like mm -hmm. But then, suddenly, one bear got taken. You have four bears. Taken? One, um, there was four bears. And then, one bear got taken. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, well, Mom's good at math, too. Not only is she a great ping pong player, she's a mathematician. And then purple bear got scared and told the other bear, we should run. Then, okay, I'm going to put a little then pink on his, their noses and their cheeks. And then I'm going to blend that. Three bears. Three bears. Now this is a graphic micron, yeah. me. of which I'm going to go around these he edges, like this. The other bears were gone for Oh no. The mothers must have missed them terribly. Well, the first one I did of these. And that beast was the terrible. lines were darker, the original yeah, laser so. lines. Yeah. So I didn't go over it like this. But in purple bear us. I feel like I didn't shade that color either yet. See, that's I feel like this. Mm -hmm. and sort of These sad, guys need a little, a little uh, <laughs> accentuations. Gone for good. Yeah, it is so. And one bear went home, and the beast was very bad. Maybe one, they pinched a big stone and got loose. Maybe yeah. their mother taught them to be clever as well. <laughs> well, one bear only. To what, are you, what are you doing with your pants untied? Like you're just going to be flying loose in the wind. The bear. Got oh, the bear did it. Okay. But the bear was the only, the, the purple bear was the only one to escape. And he said, enough. come on other bear, before the beast mouth got slurred. Yeah, his shirt is oh. rode all the way up to there. <laughs> it's happened to me before. Come on, Just gets over your belly, and then there you go. There you have it. It's gone. And all the bears lived happily ever after. That's, That's the best. But not the, but not the claw. But it was only because he had a splinter in the back of his paw. Have you heard that story? Oh yeah. And one of the bears came back out because he understood and he came out and he pulled the splinter out of the beast's paw. And then he felt better too and then they all were friends. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. the purple bear came back out. Because the purple bear's the best. And he, and he told the monster what happened. And the monster growled. <laughs> and the bear fell under the desk. And the bear speak monster. Spoke. Spoke. Spoke monster. Spoke monster. Luckily, the mom's arm was long enough to retrieve the bear from the giant cavern. And then the, the purple bear plucked the splinter out and it bleeded. But then the bear got a bandage and then he put it on there and then they all lived happily ever after. And the bear became a doctor and was very proud of himself. Mm -hmm. And the monster became a tea expert. Yes. A tea expert? Yes. Yeah. Where he tasted tea? Yes. Yeah. Hey. And he also makes tea. Yeah. And serves it to the patients at the doctor. Right? Yeah. Well. To soothe them. Even so, coffee. Yeah. Even coffee. How about that? Yes. Maybe pastries or donuts, cookies to go with their tea and coffee. Hey, I like it. I like it a lot. Even he was also an expert at baking. Yes. He wore a chef hat. 
Every good monster has a chef hat hidden away. And he also became Yellow Bear's friend. Because everybody loves Yellow Bear. Yellow Bear. And also Green Bear. Mm hmm. Because he matched part of his body. <laughs> oh yeah, so Okay. Now other than me adding um a little bit of a highlights here and there and glossy accents. I'm good. So here we go. Here's your three guys. Now, see, I've added glossy accents to his eyes and his tea and his spoons and their shoes and his eyes and his mouth. So, I'll do the same with these. And there you go. There's Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Okay. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. Be safe. Blessings.